Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is a tutorial on this makeup look right here. It's very fall and very pumpkin spice latte, which is exactly what I was going for. I'm personally not a PSL fan. However, I just feel like this look just encompasses fall in general. If fall were a makeup look, this is what it would be. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe and let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with the color Chickadee from Makeup Geek. It is a very orangey yellowy shade and I'm gonna pop that in the crease. I'm gonna use the Smith 232 brush. So I'm just gonna take this right here in the crease. I'm quickly gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I don't really like this lens so much because it doesn't really focus very easily on products when I lift them up, but like whatever, at least you can see what I'm doing. Let's continue. So I'm still using Chickadee here in the crease. Next, I'm taking the color Neon from Melt, and I'm gonna bring this into the crease and help kind of brighten up the eye look a little bit and make it very yellow up in there. So I'm just gonna bring this a little higher up, and brighten this up a little bit, make it very, very yellow. Next, I'm grabbing the color Poppy from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to pop it in my inner and outer corner of my eyes. So I'm bringing this here in the outer corner and then dragging it into the middle of my crease. And then I'm gonna go back into Chickadee and blend out the poppy shade into the yellow. Next, I'm gonna grab Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. It's a deeper, richer brown. I'm gonna take this on a pencil brush, which this pencil brush is amazing. It's the A14 from Anastasia. Probably the best pencil brush I've tried because it's really soft, so it helps to blend as you're like packing on color and defining. So I'm gonna bring this here in the outer corner and kind of just press it in and also bring this into the crease and do the inner corner. Then I'm going back in and kind of blending out that crease a little bit just so that it's not harsh. Anytime I go back in and blend, I'll use any of the previous shades. Just kind of play around with it and see which shade works best for you because it kind of depends on, I don't know, the look and the feel of what you're doing, but for the most part, any of the previous transition shades that you use in a look can be used to help blend out stuff. So now I kind of want to vamp this up a little bit. I'm going to grab Deep Damson eyeshadow from MAC. It's probably like my favorite purpley shade. And I'm going to put this onto the lid here and just really pack it on because I think that this is going to look really pretty next to the oranges and yellows. And anytime I access the inner part of the lid or like the inner corner, I actually tilt my head to the side and then I approach it from the same direction so that I can get that inner corner without like blinking or feeling awkward. And then I'm just going in with some Cocoa Bear and I'm blending right where that purple met the crease. So it lands. So on my eyelids, I'm gonna grab the color Trophy Wife. This is a highlighter from Fenty Beauty, but I'm gonna use it as an eyeshadow. I think I can just grab this on my finger. We'll see how this goes. Yep, that's what I was looking for. Boop, 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 boop. And then over top of that, I'm gonna use the Inglot Glitter number 49. It is a beautiful yellow glitter, but it reflects copper and green at the same time. So I think that this is gonna be so perfect for that spotlight in the center of the eye. I'm gonna first grab my glitter glue from Too Faced. I'm gonna pop it right on the top there. And then I'm going to set the glitter right on top. Okay, I'm just going to clean up underneath the eyes because I've got glitter all over the place. I'm gonna go in and give myself a wing. I will link my eyeliner video up in this video as well as down below. Okay, I'm gonna go and apply my mascara and my lashes and I'll be right back. Moving on to my face, I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Light. This is definitely my favorite face primer and it's pretty sure like all I use for the most part. I try a bunch of stuff here and there, but I always end up going back to this. It's just, it seems to be the only thing that works for my skin. It, it doesn't make me feel dry at all, but it helps with any oiliness that happens throughout the day because my skin is 
fairly normal, but when I have on a full face of makeup, I tend to get oily throughout the day. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Dior Skin Forever Foundation in the shade 15. Uh, I'm gonna use one pump. I'll probably end up using two, that's a little squirt. Um, We'll see what happens. And then today I really wanna use this Smith 115 brush. I've used it before, but it was quite a long time ago and I thought I'd try it again. So I'm gonna use this to buff in my foundation. Oh, I forgot that this foundation has such a strong scent. I like it though. For my concealer, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I'm in the shade Light Pale. I'm gonna crank this up and apply it underneath the eyes here. It looks like I'm applying a lot, but it's very thin. Like, I feel like it's not like, I don't know. I feel like with anything that's in a tube or a bottle, a lot comes out, but this like a lot isn't really coming out. Okay, and I'm just blending that in with my Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush number 57. I'm gonna set that with the Makeup Forever H104, I believe. It's this highlighter shade right here. I'm just setting the under eye concealer. I'm setting my face with a little bit of Bare Minerals powder. For bronzer, I'm gonna use Give Me Sun from MAC. I haven't used this in a hot minute, and I thought it would work with this very nicely. If I can find my brush for it. There we go. Bring this on the forehead, nose, chin. Today, I'm gonna contour with the Bad Habit Contour Powder from Makeup Geek. It's the center shade right here. And I'm gonna use just a little bit at a time because it's so pigmented that I don't wanna go too overboard. Did you just hear my candle bubble? What the fuck? For my blush, I'm gonna go into this orange one here from Makeup Geek. It's actually called Summer Fling, but who cares if it's summery? To me, it's really fall. I'm going to tap off the majority of it and then apply it. So two days in a row, I forgot to moisturize my face and my makeup has gone on patchy both days and I'm just now realizing why. I've got like this big patch right here missing and I think it's just because I forgot to moisturize my face. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of, but gosh. For my highlighter, I am going to find it. I'm gonna mix two together. I have the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter and then the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife Highlighter. I'm gonna do this one first and then top it with this just a little bit because I can get this to work with my complexion if I like am really light with it and I just think it's so freaking pretty. I'm first gonna go into Master Chrome from Maybelline. Apply that. I'm also applying this to the Cupid's bow. And then I'm gonna grab Trophy Wife. For my under eyes, I'm gonna grab the color Chickadee and bring this under here, connect it over here and bring it in. I'm gonna grab some Poppy from Makeup Geek and smudge that right at the lashes. And then I'm also gonna grab Cocoa Bear. And then I'm applying Master Chrome mixed with nylon on the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm just finishing the eyes with some mascara so I can balance out those top lashes. I'm gonna go into the Miami Fever Liquid Lipstick from Ofra Cosmetics. This is like the only lip color that I have that just screams pumpkin and fall and, and pumpkin, so it's just perfect for it. Super fall. Super freak. Super freak. She's super freaky. All right, you guys, that completes everything for this makeup look. I'm feeling super fall and super festive for this time of year. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you recreate this look, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter or send me a snap on Snapchat. All of my social media links will be down below. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.